Hello, and welcome to Jade Kind Gaming Presents the Observatory. My name is Bob, and this is the 77th session of the Shadow Kingdom 5th Edition Dungeon Dragons Campaign. I'm joined here with Austin as Mary, Beth as Jojo, Adam as Air Wolfgang, Ryan as Mother June, and Nick as Maribel. We are going to pick up where we left off with uh, Air Wolfgang through. going through. Dum -dum. So, alone. Dum -dum -dum. Alone, yes. <laughs> the I world it, uh, collapses in, and this green grass starts graying out, and then it starts, it flies back into focus. And where there was grass in this ring, there is now a uh, long walkway cobbled with leading uh, into the uh, gates into a city. And before you it says, there's a conspiracy. Protect the king or replace him. Find the conspirators and turn them in. Join the con Find the conspirators and join them. The choice is yours. The only path that you can't take is doing nothing. And there's a timer that uh, shows up. Uh, like, like, like floating in the sky, or is it like here in my vision, like a HUD? <laughs> like, it, it shows up and it just says you have two days. You have three days. Okay, so three days. Of which, uh, and then you just see it click down to say two days, uh, 23 hours, uh, 59 minutes. 59, and then it starts fading away, so you know that it is now ticking down. Mm -hmm. So protect the king, replace him, or find and join conspirators. Y yeah, protect the king, or you have to replace him. So you either have to find the conspirators and turn them in, or find the conspirators and join them to uh, <laughs> remove the king. The choice is yours. I thought about making it where you had to assemble the silver monkey, okay. mm. but you didn't pick the swamp, so. You should have went to the temple. The, there, the, mm, people would have been hitting me with foam things there. And remember, <laughs> that silver monkey had to be Trixie. I Nobody mean, could figure it out. It had to be Trixie. Or they just cheated and gave him wrong size pieces. Yeah, who, who would ever do that? You? I mean, I... It, while impossible kids are that bad at, you know, Legoing blocks together, I don't want to believe that world exists. That somebody's <laughs> that bad at Legoing blocks together. First step, as I look, cobblestone that leads into a city. Yeah. So we have been dealing with a city of a particular scale. Can you compare the city upon which I'm looking to that? It, it seems like it's, like, a small city. Like, okay. to traverse from one side to the other would probably take no more than an hour through the streets on foot. Okay. Okay. It is like Much a, more reasonable sized city. This this a, isn't no Houston or nothing we're talking no, about. No, it's about the size of a blender. Uh, of a blender. Of a uh, district. Okay. Okay, that's that's a little more reasonable to work with. Um, I start walking my way into the city. Come on, boy. What's uh, entry gates like? Uh, there's uh, two gates. They're standing open. There's a portcullis with uh, wooden uh, doors behind it. Both of them are open, and there's uh, two guards standing on either side of the day gate, wearing uh, like obnoxiously bright, like canary yellow tabards. What's the word around town, sir? Oh, must be new here. Just it's arrived myself. Well, there's an inn in there, and uh, you can go there and print upon news or whatever. Uh, there's a... Uh, yeah, that's about it. And it is. I, I mean, my grand's not do As you're walking off, <laughs> starts talking about his grand. <laughs> I check out the inn. All right. As you walk up there, it's uh, the goat's hurdle, which is uh, has a goat that's like legs kicked out sideways, doing like a fancy little jump over like a sprinter's hurdle, is what the sign is. Okay. Open the door. 
You walk in, and there's a, like, just, not like a wave of noise, but it's all conversation. There's no music going on at the moment. There's, like, a little stage in the back, but it seems empty, and it seems like it's a relatively busy uh, inn. There's people chatting and talking, and there's a, uh, there's a couple of littler people just running back and forth along at the back at the bar. I scan them. I'm looking you know, for a seat, but first off, I, I, as I'm doing, I'm checking, like, are there, around the edges, are there seats where people that are more likely to be in whispered tones would be trying to take, or is I it mean, just kind of an some, open it, kind of... It, it's open, but there are some tables that have been either moved off to the side or already in, like, corners where people are seem to be having a bit more of a private drink. Okay. Um, probably aim, leaning in that direction a little bit. Um, but try and see if there's a seat somewhere I can sit centrally located. Okay. Uh, you could probably find a table somewhere mm -hmm. in the middle. Yeah. Especially if you are willing to share. Um. Let's take that back. Let's take that back. Because that is going, that is going to make me make a wisdom-based perception check. What I would like to do is make an intelligence-based investigation check. That sounds perfectly reasonable <laughs> to me. As I as I've tried I, I, to I, figure I, out I, things, I, just to, you know, you brought up the thing up if you want to share, you know, whatever. I'll I'll just throw down a what I got. I'll, I'll throw down a couple gold and get get drinks as I walk around, talking to people, okay. uh, getting the lay, trying to investigate, running, anything. Around, gathering some information. Yeah. with uh, two levels of exhaustion, I would have disadvantage on skill checks, correct? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So I don't get to keep my five, I will go with the two and, uh, and roll there instead. <laughs> I mean, you have your four tenths, don't you? Yes, but I do believe I have to roll that, uh, you choose that beforehand. You don't know if you succeed or failed. You yes. roll a five and a two. You can make choose after you roll. Before. After you I roll before I know? Yeah, yeah. Um, well then, yeah. It's... Maybe been going. The then I'm I just going to go ahead and use this 12. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's... Uh, d disadvantage on ability checks and half-speed movement. Okay. So then, yeah, I'll, use, I'll grab that 12 off of Portance and... But wouldn't that just make what you get the 5? Oh, no, Portance is before you roll. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Like every other one's after, just before yeah. the results. That, that's dumb. But yeah, Portance okay. is not. You gotta, well, I guess it is. You're foreseeing the future. You're not foreseeing... So. Ten. You have to know. Ten. Uh, and you're just looking for... Makes sense. I mean, I'm obviously trying to gather, if I can, any knowledge about any conspirators, any, anyone talking about anything to do with the king. Um, there's conversations about the king that in uh, two days there's going to be a function at the palace. Uh, some nature of ball uh, coming of age thing that would make his uh, daughter like his official heir. Take that. I'm I'm uh, head out on the streets and I'm gonna walk trying to find maybe where this castle courtyard wh wherever that would be. Okay, so you're gonna go and check out like the castle. Itself. Yeah, I'm gonna head head that way. Try and it, it's go. relatively up on a hill, so you mm -hmm. can just walk up to it. Though, with your half speed, unless you're using your broom. Um, what vibe for that kind of thing do I get in this little city? What? What vibe do I get for that in this city? Uh, I mean, you haven't really seen anyone flying around, but... Then I don't bother.
Okay, so uh, as you make your way up, you get uh, to it, and it's like it is like cartoonishy fantasy, mm-hmm. like a pure white. You know, there's no poop stains. It's like a white mm-hmm. marble castle almost, mm-hmm. with uh, large canary yellow banners flying, and on the uh, banners themselves, over it is a uh, uh, looks like a duck, like a little. Like a what would be a rubber duck, basically is kind of what it looks like. Is the Lord's uh, 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 sigil flying proudly over his keep? I know. I wish I had Skyrite. If only someone with Skyrite came through, we could we could have a strategy. But aren't you a wizard? Yeah. Skyrite's a ritual spell, my dude. But yes, I don't have it. Whose fault is that? Yours. You should have taken the time to write the ritual spells out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have no two people with it. You can just go buy ink and ask one of us. Which is what I did. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think about that. <laughs> I'm actually I'm waiting on money so I can do it to other ritual spells. That I know, or that anyone knows. I don't know. I could hire people. I don't know. You could get like water breathing and walking from me. I think. Yeah. I don't those are non conscious. One know of those. I've ever used my ritual spell that I gave you. Uh, what was that? Talk with animals. Silence. Yeah, we use that a bunch. Yeah, we use silence a bunch. Yeah, remember we kept taking ten minutes to do it in oh, Gustav's yeah. house, and that's how we found out about us. <laughs> Super quiet. So quiet. Except for those areas we weren't in silence while doing the rituals for silence. Bunny didn't see it coming. Bunny did not see it coming. <laughs> Anyone coming or going or any activity around uh, there seems to be uh, like people coming in with cloth and like things that you would need to prepare for a party like feasting stuff so there's like foods are showing up now there's uh, there's carts of goods that are going into the castle I have a deuce but I'm not there <laughs> yeah sucks to suck nerd mm-hmm yeah, no, I'm alone in this. Uh, meld into stone. That's a spell you could teach me. Mm. It seems so I useless. To scream, you're out there! But th- that's not what you're talking about. Are you talking about <laughs> go around the corner? Yeah. yeah, it's just, I'm going to step backwards into the stone to hide. What mm-hmm. else does it do? You're in the stone to hide. You you're really move. good at hiding. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the point. It lasts yeah. eight hours. Yeah, it's the ultimate. I was never here. Uh, who's going to keep? Who's going to sit there and look for eight hours? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it the uh, only unworked stone? I believe it is. Because <laughs> if so, not super useful here. Don't think it mentions worked or not. I know that's usually like meld stone or nope shape, just stone object or surface large enough to fully contain your body. No, oh, okay, okay, I. Go back to the inn, and I rent a room so I could get some sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You tired of all this disadvantage? Yeah, I'm still gonna have disadvantage because that's only gonna reduce it by one level. I don't know. Shop around town for someone with a uh, greater restoration. Or an alchemical fix for exhaustion. Um, I'm thinking that if if I if I make a because it's three. What I saw is there was three days until the king thing, and then two days until the coming of age. Is that? Yes, it's three days is the uh, total time of the trial. Two days until there's the king's party. So the king's party is in two days. The end of the trial is in three. My making sure I'm comprehending things as would, as would make sense based on the information my character would have mm-hmm. would suggest then that this pass fail of trial of the king being either needing to be protected or 
Overthrow. Overthrow or whatever <laughs> it would be that three is, which would suggest it's something that's happening just after. You're, no. You have to complete your task before the three days. Yeah. Which would mean that he, I don't think he's going to be killed at day, day two because then I wouldn't be able to succeed on, on all of the goals on day three. Uh, killing him would be removing him from power. Or if you yes, but go, if somebody you, else killed him, because uh, there's can, a so you either have to help the rebels dethrone him, kill him yourself, turn the rebels into the king, kill them all so they are no longer a threat, and turn in proof to the king. There's actually four ways to complete this trial. Okay, and, and if they so killed if, them, if they for whatever reason managed to kill the king without your involvement. You completed the task appropriately because the task was apparently sometimes patience is important. <laughs> so the task yeah. also came with the caveat: your only choice is, is not to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only choice, yeah. So, yeah, patience would not work. In so, that one. so you would have to go up to the gnome and say, "Quest bugged." <laughs> yeah. So I, I did kind of shut off the. Uh, like I didn't want you to sit there and think maybe this is a patience test, so okay. I did remove that. It is not a patience test. Yeah, no. I don't want you. <laughs> You're not going to sit in the edge for the next three days waiting for them to come out, and then day three set it on fire. Listen, I've I've tested your patience before. You've won. You've won. <laughs> I am patient. I don't want it. He's very patient. This is a, a doing stuff thing. Yep. Um, but yeah, so how much for for a room? Uh, you can have a room, like, if you want just one day, or... Yeah, I'm just getting a day for now. Uh, five silver. Okay. And that comes with, uh, evening meal and breakfast. Cool. I will rest, reduce my exhaustion by one, get back those few hit points, spell slots, get back the spell slots. Which I wasn't thinking of, but that's probably the bigger thing that I need to make sure I had back. <laughs> I don't. How many spell slots can <coughs> you use? Six. Hmm. That was all during the combat? And it probably would have also been stuff before then because we didn't actually rest from going from the desert into the walking Weird. around the beach. Weird. Mm. Yeah. Who would they need to rest? And you fired off lightning bolts. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because we got attacked a second time by the uh, mm -hmm. lizards. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but. I guess theoretically, new day, new morning. I'm gonna just sort of have you know the breakfast and try and do a little investigating as as during that time, talking to people. Oh, you can <laughs> see San Fierro, You know, oh, what's the excitement with Carnation? You know. Okay, so you're going people's to... attitude towards. So your previous one was like a general. What the heck is going on? Yeah, now I'm ones. more like people like now I'm taking the info I got and I'm. Hoping that it's a, a good bread come, and I'm investigating further on <laughs> on the upcoming coronation, uh, coming of age. Co co yeah, coming of age. Whatever. Yeah, it, it is a coming of age party where she'll be officially recognized as uh, heir, the heir to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the clown, the clown princess. princess. Since apparently this is my new voice. <laughs> Marriage brings us together. <laughs> so 12 and a 2 for the same 10. <laughs> uh, yes, our uh, beloved princess is going to be crowned <laughs> as the heir to the kingdom. There will be people the flocking to the king. event from all over. Yeah. So, uh, no. Oh. No. Okay. 
If if You're I am not to there, <laughs> no, he can hear She's my also voice. Wrong. If in I am to be thinking that someone is conspiring against the king in three days, and it's in two days that the princess becomes eligible to receive the crown, my now thought is that she is, and which would now be tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. The coronation is now tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, coming of age. <laughs> yes, the coming of age is now tomorrow. You have now screwed up my mental accounting of what it is. Wooed. But the thought is, she's then heir. If she, she is she either trying she, is to she try, yeah, right? trying to become queen now, is she related to it? I blame her. What an excellent question. Now I'm trying to figure out how to follow up on that. Mm. What, what was the name of that egalitarian secession law for both male female secession? No, we're not going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Put it in the comments. Find it on your computer. <laughs> we have things to do besides whatever that is. Um, so I go. I, I head back again. Now no longer slowed down. Mentally slowed, but no longer physically slowed. I only have one level of exhaustion. Uh, I head back to the, the castle. Okay. Still, yeah, yeah. They're still working on like uh, getting stuff. I, I just there, I'm, there I'm, is still things go uh, carts going in and out. Is there is there like like someone organizing things that I feel like uh, you do see an officious little man. With the clipboard. Now, now. Yes, over that. Yes, yes, yes. Like, uh, uh, who seems to be directing traffic, as it were. But he's, like, inside of there. Like, he's not standing at the gates. Mm -hmm. He's standing, like, where the carts would be moved to one side or the other. Mm -hmm. And just kind of, like, going over that. And there's guard that. before. Yes, there, there, there is guards before. I'll look up to one of the guards. It's a lot of yeah. work being done for, for stuff is... Is yeah. there anyone that would be hiring if, you know, I need to get some coin? I mean, I can do some work. I can move things. Are you patting yourself because you're not very strong? You're trying to convince me that you are strong? Uh, yeah. Don't pay attention to that. You can do a uh, deception check <laughs> against this kind of text check. Now I will. Um, deception. Yeah, you are visibly exhausted. Uh, While you're doing this. Fifteen. <laughs> I can work. I, I also have eight straight. <laughs> I just need a job. Just uh, he just kind of looks at you and goes, "Well, judging by your outfit and your general coiffeur, you seem to be someone who would be of more use of an uh, intelligence mind than actually moving things. Also, judging by the fact that you seem tired, <laughs> this is probably a bad, a bad idea. However, I'll see if they require any middle management." Manager. We'll give you the numbers. Uh, Do yes. some accounting, my friend. <laughs> uh, we always need well, whatever pays. I'm motivated. That's what I am most. Janice! And this uh, woman comes out, like, her helm's <laughs> falling over her head. It doesn't quite fit. She goes, yes, Sarge. They're like, just stand here. Don't break the gate, I guess. She goes, okay. I'm really good at not breaking the gate. She's just standing there, like, staring at you so hard, like, kind of half-smiling. You know, like, when you were standing in line as a kid, and your mom went to grab something, and the woman who was ringing up the food was almost done? She just left. That's what her face looks like. Just left. Just terror. <laughs> <laughs> terror and trying to hide it as the sergeant walks off, uh, walks up to the man with the clipboard. <clears throat> you're, do you're doing good, Jan. <laughs> He'll be back soon. You, sh you should be getting a promotion. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put a good word in when I get up there. Please, please don't. Jan I, I Janice. prefer it if you forgot who I was. Janice. You're really making really this, good you're making this so much worse for me. No. No. Sense motive. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eighteen two. I don't know. She's real hard to read. <laughs> so what is that? That's insight, right? Insight. So wisdom did five. Six or seven. She's okay. being modest. She needs this promotion. <laughs> She's real hard to read. You're not like the mysteries of women is beyond your ken. <laughs> She's real hard to read. Represent, yeah. <laughs> uh, as the man with the clipboard comes walking back, and as he's walking back, he's instructing the carts as he's getting to you, and he comes up and goes, "So you need ha- you would like to help?" Yes, uh, looking for for some work. Do you understand how to organize this? And he holds up, like, a clip, his clipboard. He holds it up to you. Do you understand how this would be organized? Uh, go ahead and do it. It's just an intelligence check. Mamba. Four and five is nine. Nine. Uh, at this point, you can... I'll give you a deception check to try to bullshit your way through it, but you... you Probably would need to look at it longer to understand. Well, fortunately, my 19 didn't get to stay. It went with the 3 for, uh... No. No, I don't, I don't feel very... He, he goes... Uh, come back once you're rested, I guess? I don't know. You can't help. I, I would love someone to do this for me. I'm actually the king's steward. I have better things to do. I'm sure... Is there any, like, alchemy shops? I mean, just a pick-me-up. It's just rough nights. Ah, go to the uh, Penny College, down two streets, four on the left. It's a... Uh, See if I can it, get my head straight. A, they serve uh, coffees, and they also do basic pick-me-up potions. Yeah, See if... Kill them and take See if I can come. <laughs> <laughs> I go get them. As he goes, this is... He, like, turns to the cart and goes... I've already got this. Why are you here? And the guy goes, you look at your order. He goes, it, it's obviously a double order. Someone sent two letters. No, no, we're t- return all of this. I don't want any of it. We're not accepting it. No, take it back. And the guy just goes, at least it wasn't like, unloaded yet. As he uh, goes and turns his cart around and is uh, follow going past you. Okay. Yeah. Keep, keeping track of where my pick me up is. Okay. But follow for now. Resigned a bit to what's going on here. So as you follow, it is uh he goes he actually goes past the Penny College. Like he has to take those mm-hmm. turns to he goes past it and it's like a little coffee shop and you see a bunch of people that are like in uh like robes, wizardly or intellectual types just arguing about stupid things. One of them has grabbed the drinks board and is erasing it as he's drawing out diagrams trying to explain something. I kind of catch up to the guy. So you're walking... Yeah, like, I kind of catch up. Like, I'm, like, like walking at the guy. Like, I'm I'm going to make sure he notices it. Yeah. You need help getting uh, in? No. I need to unload my cart because I apparently, they double ordered. Like, we sent this exact cart load up earlier today, but I got another letter that says they needed these I'm things. going to do at least one more disadvantage check to uh, insight. All right. Okay, let's just keep that as the lowest number. I can manage with that as the lowest number. See, that would have been a nice number, but yeah. Um, 17. Uh, he's being completely honest. He literally is a guy who has a job. He works for a logistics company in a distribution center, and they just they got double ordered. Okay. Okay. I'd say I'm watching you, but I'm going that way. I'm not really. I'm tired. That there's a cough. Yeah, no, I saw that. I was like, I'm gonna try. Oh, and I, 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 I wander just sit back to to the coffee shop. Okay. 
So as you walk in, there's uh, you see uh, like there, there's a. Clock. I am tired. <laughs> Do you have anything that can fix that? <laughs> yeah. It works Would you fast. like the invigorating response of intellectual pursuits? I was talking. Have you tried just... yoga? It's like a whole spirit <laughs> <No>. thing, man. <laughs> That's just weakness. <laughs> you got a warm beverage? Try rubbing some dirt in it. <sighs> Rub dirt in your tired, Adam. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it's what I've been doing so far. <laughs> it's just a dwarf in the back with a big red beard who's just like <laughs> drinking espresso out of a full-size coffee mug. Walk up to the dwarf. Well, first off, is there a counter? Yes, there's a counter. And they're not responding? They're, like, fulfilling orders and drinks. You have walked in and exclaimed things in a place where people are quite often exclaiming things. <laughs> there's a sign hanging over a spot that says, Order here. They are not engaging with your bullshit. <laughs> or anyone else's, for that matter. I find myself to the Order Here station. It's Starbucks, they are you. Um, yeah, man, how can I help you? What do you got to help me stop being tired? Oh, man, I got, like, everything I need right here. I got, like, coffee, there's some potions. What do you... What kind of potions you got? Uh, well, there's... And he pulls out, like, a... Like, a box of, like, cans, basically. There goes... This the one, Red Bull, the the yeah. balls. The this one is <laughs> the the uh, this one's the uh, Golden Minotaur. It's just it's a pick me up. Like five or six hours, then you crash. Basically, it would double give you two levels of exhaustion, but get rid of it for now. Uh, this one is just pure, basically pure caffeine and sugar. Uh, it doesn't really get rid of your exhaustion per se. But it does let you move around pretty normally. So, like, if you were two levels, this would help you move. And then, uh, you know, this one is, like, an actual legit one. And it's in, like, a bottle with a little fairy on it. It's, like, it will, uh, may cause hallucin... Wait. It may cause hallucination, loosening of bowels, but will fix your exhaustion. <laughs> and basically what that means is at some point you will be taking a constitution save against the loosening of the bowels and you will be taking a wisdom save against the hallucinations but not at disadvantage but not at disadvantage I'll take how much is that one that sounds oh, that sounds like my kind of day <laughs> 20 gold enjoy the fairy bro 20 gold it is enjoy the fairy bro <laughs> like I've had it myself to and his eyes go wide, <laughs> and he just like starts run, like absolutely hustling. Grab. <laughs> as he, someone else they, comes up, and goes uh, twenty gold, please. Yeah, yeah. As, as I'm, <laughs> do I have to pay now? Oh gosh, pretty good racket for the gnome. I drink this poison. <laughs> Do I get rid of my level of exhaustion? It gets rid of your level of exhaustion. Okay. You just rolled for how long until I have to check things, didn't you? Yep. I make my way back to the steward. Make a way. Make a way. <laughs> Read this list. <laughs> <laughs> you just stumble back up, white powder all down your face. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> No, I drink a neat <laughs> little potion. I hide the bottle in my in my 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 stash. Uh, all right, we need five hydras. <laughs> okay, so as you uh, walk back up uh, to the thing, I <laughs> the sergeant is standing there, just like behind Janice, and Janice is just like, "Hello, and welcome to the castle." <laughs> Hi. How can the guard assist you today? You're so good, Janice. <laughs> you for that promotion in no time. <laughs> B 
be aware that we will not put up with <laughs> shenanigans. As, as she like, yeah. Uh, goes over the sergeant's like, <laughs> so I went and got one of the, the pick me ups. I think I can do better. We will not be put up with Shinette. If she like looks back at the sergeant. I look over. Is the steward still doing the, the thing? The sergeant's still standing behind her, but the steward is still over there. Hey, I, I hate to do this. You know, the steward, no, I went and got one of the pick me ups. I should be able to do better to free him up. Okay. As he turns and walks at Janice, it's just like, once again, that same little kid left in the line look on her face as the sergeant walks off. Hey. What if one of, the, one of these she's people come like up and does shenanigans? She's a full-grown woman. Just, wait, but the... So she's just been given large, larger-than-normal, like, well, armor? Her gear, her gear does not fit. She is a full-grown woman. <laughs> See, by the gear didn't fit, I assume she must be smaller. Yeah, I, like I a understand half that when something. you looked down at her, like, nope, human, full-grown <laughs> woman. Full-grown woman, she's just been given, like, a... Like a... Dark Goliath's <laughs> armor? <laughs> As you notice that most of the guards are male, you kind of get the impression that she's in training. And the armor does, just doesn't fit very well. Or they're just so hard up for guards for this thing. <laughs> so, uh, we're ringing her bell to blind her. As much as you might not think so from the way that uh, Bob takes a drink, he is also a full-grown adult, too. <laughs> what do you mean? This is a normal-sized drinking vessel. See? He's got one. You're over there with your baby sippy cup, barely hold 40 ounces. <laughs> so that is enough. This is a comfy size. I'm comfy. Comfortable with my adequate supply of water. <laughs> So, uh, the, uh, steward comes back over, goes, sorry. Yeah. Doing better. <laughs> okay, good. Do this one. It's a little harder. Okay. Straight intelligence check. And I just rolled an eight. Okay. Um, 13. Okay. It makes <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was a 12 instead of a 10. <laughs> it was a 10 before. <laughs> It's not a complicated task. It, uh, so you answer what he needs, and yeah. he goes, All right. Uh, sure. Hey, Janice, go ahead and keep an eye on... Hmm? Uh, uh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang, go ahead and keep an eye on Wolfgang. Help him out if you can. Oh, okay. And I explodes. head over to the spot where he's been standing, yeah. take the clipboard. Yeah, and, and start working while also just trying to figure out what's going on, looking at anything, it is, anything unusual from all the information on as, as I go through. It is like a list of names and companies and where they need to go to drop off their goods. It is pretty much entirely what the list is. The complicated thing is because you are not intimately aware with of the castle, like it, there is a map associated mm -hmm. with it in case they were confused as to where to go. You were like trying to understand how these correlated. Oh, I have a map of the castle. Of like, <laughs> it, it, it's like a basic exterior. It's not like these are all the secret passages. Well, no, but yeah, it's at it's, least all of the. Yeah, it's a pretty basic map of the castle. Yeah. But you have something. Yeah. Right. In general, I start working. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I'm, 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 I'm trying to notice anything that I can. If there are people with questions, I'm definitely working to gain information as I'm answering as I can. Um, trying, I guess, at this point to figure out if any of these coming through are said conspirators sneaking their way through. Sneaking their way. Okay, uh, then you will need an insight check for conspirators. Okay. <coughs> Leaving the heart of the dice. Okay. Let's see here. Um, 
21. Great. Okay. As some of the people are coming through and you're directing them, you note that there's a couple of them who are, like, very interested in, like, checking out the walls, looking where they're, like, they're checking out the courtyard and they're looking around the castle a lot more than the people who seem to be delivering things that have delivered here quite a bit. And there's a couple of them that are probably, like, two or three of them that you clock as... They're looking for more information than where to drop this off. Do I see what business they're from? Uh, they all seem to be from uh, Yuma, which is appears to be a uh, some nature of distribution center. Um. Okay, first off, is Janice like standing beside me, or she's just over at the gate? And oh like, no, she's standing beside okay. you. And like trying to help with information. Yep. I uh yeah I kind of I you need help uh, finding something and try and get somewhere. Oh, you're asking one of the Yumas. Yeah, one of the Yumas. Uh, are you trying to get to, and where are they supposed to go? Uh, they are supposed to go to uh, the uh, kitchen, the, the back kitchen. They're delivering, they should be delivering flour and things of that nature. Right, have you, you, re, you got the flour? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you trying to figure out where the back kitchen is? I got a map. I'm sure where the back kitchen is. Oh, yeah, that'd be uh, very helpful. As yes. As he, like, jumps down and starts <laughs> investigating the map. Yeah, no. Uh... Yeah, no, so we're here, and I just kind of try to keep... You do have access to Thieves' Camp, don't you? I bl I have gang code. So I don't think that's quite the same. We called yeah. it something different. <laughs> it's like you gave us all Thieves' Camp or gang code when we first started. Yeah, up. My, mine's listed as gang lingo. I mean, that's <laughs> basically Thieves' Camp. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's like... I think it was the same thing, you just called it that because we're... Thieves, not or we're, we're gang, not thieves. Yeah. So, so if you wanted to try to slip a coded message in thieves camp and what you're doing, uh, you can. But it is a, uh, a performance uh, check. Uh, you, it, it's either a performance check or you're just if you're trying to deceive like pretty much everyone, or if you're just trying. Yeah, it'd be a performance check. Yeah. Um. I was trying to make it de deception, but it's not. It's performance. Do I assess how, it, if I wanted to just give a message as simple as, you know, don't be so obvious, um, with the idea of ingratiating myself that maybe if I find them tonight, they have a, a reason to, to let me in kind of thing, but not really pass any information directly at this point, um... Do I feel like what? What do I feel like the odds of getting caught? Because like I would almost more rather risk not getting the message across than you risk you getting caught. Uh, seems pretty easy. Block it with a clipboard. Well, I mean, you could. I mean, it's not all, all just symbols. A lot of it. If you would like, I will just increase the DC on that guy. Understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I do it in that kind of way. Um. And with that, so that is what? That is... So how difficult do you make it for him to catch? Because there's him, and then there's other people who are going to make DCs to, uh, to see it. So where do you want the DC to be sitting at? I'll let you pick it. Six, pick seven. all the numbers. <laughs> Five. <laughs> you have one see, guard who's standing directly pretty much next to you. Yeah, but what are the chances she's a moron? <laughs> I think she is socially inept. I don't think she's dumb. <laughs> and, and I do think that you could probably maneuver it so you could block some line of sight with your clipboard. Yeah, because my brain is just saying, it's like, I can actually make him understand if, if I get to do that. But that's setting the DC probably lower than I would want it to be. Because um, I get plus three. Um, you don't have to roll for it. You literally just tell me what number. 
like he's rolling to catch it. You're setting the DC. Decide how. And it's the same DC that they would. It would be the same DC that they would get to catch it as well. Okay. Um. I'll make it twenty two. Okay. I don't know. Would you have the option of doing a performance check to essentially do like a feint to give other people disadvantage on it? I don't know. No, I'm already letting him set the DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like. Hmm. <laughs> this is doing things in a way that I'm not wasn't expecting. So. <laughs> uh, that's the point. Yep. He kind of goes. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It's always nice to have people keeping their eyes out for you. As he hops back on the cart and it starts uh, going off, keeping his head straight. He's not uh, gazing around anymore. Mm -hmm. And I try to insight Janice if Janice is suspicious of me now. Uh, she seems hard to read. You don't really get anything from her. Okay. She's not a trainee. She's actually the king. <laughs> Kill <laughs> her. Or the crown she, Yeah, she's the crown princess. Kill her and wear her skin. Come on, man. You know you want to wear someone's skin. <laughs> do, do I? Otherwise, in general, at this point, I have a lead to follow later, and I just spend the day trying to do the best darn job I can. Okay. You're, I have a pretty high intelligence... You're probably going to be great at this. So, uh, about the time where you're looking around, I'm going to go ahead and need you to roll a uh, con save. It's going to be a DC 12 constitution. Constitution Ooh. save. I do not have that. So that is just so plus 4. So I need to roll. Um, okay, good. 15, so 19. Okay, uh, there's a little tum-tum grumble, and it, you let out a little... And it's got flavor. <laughs> it's a it's a bad one, but you feel pretty good. And uh, then I'm gonna need a <laughs> a whiz save from you against the hallucinations. Mm, okay, and this is a wisdom save. Correct. And I can use my importance on a save. You can. And that would give me seventeen. I'm just gonna. Hope that that is good enough, and I'll take 17 on that. Okay. <laughs> you think you see butterflies dancing around Janice's head like in a, a golden halo, but then you're like, no, that is that is once again the weird potion. It's fine. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you finish up uh, work. Uh, the steward comes back down <coughs> probably mm -hmm. 10 hours after he left you. Mm -hmm. Just went... Thank you so much. I had a lot of things to get done. And then I took a nap. <laughs> and I've had dinner. Uh, yeah, here you go. He gives you five gold. Thank you very much. And uh, the coins are relatively unique. There's uh, a duck on one side, and on the back side it looks like a pond. Now, um, first off, I'm guessing that amongst the paperwork, I would have checked... There wasn't any address uh, from address as far as knowing where. Uh, no, but you have the company name. Okay. And you're aware of what those distribution centers look like. They're very large warehouses yeah. because there's one in the horse's head mm -hmm. or, or the red horse district. So, yeah. assuming that they match reality, as I am very aware that this is yeah. a. Yes. This is but a anyways, I set out to try to find that. All right. As I, I I set out walking down the street a bit. Around a corner, and then out to try and... <laughs> okay. So, uh, investigation? Are you asking um, people? Uh, I guess step one is I probably would have known what direction that cart came in from. No, because you're standing all the way back, so they're all basically or, coming in straight through the gate. You don't really see... I don't see what way when they then leave it's afterwards. It's a huge they line. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can try Ooh, and catch fine. it, but... Um, you're main dealing with incoming, not outgoing. I find probably easier to find um, 
a baker. Okay. Because I knew they were bringing in flour. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you go find a baker. It's near the, uh, the Penny College. I, uh... I, let's make, make, make some order. Whatever, spend a bit. Okay, so you get a croissant about this big that's like a chocolate maple drizzled croissant. It's pretty big. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. And, and, and as going through and ordering that, I, I talk a little bit about a little bit I have of baking and food in general. I more try and just pull on knowledge I know of food to ingratiate myself from the the stand over by uh, the circle. Okay. Just as far as uh, I love great food. Um, and try my best to uh, to bring in the do you do you know do you work with or know the location of uh, Yuma distribution? Uh, yeah, we work with them. They're they they are a supplier. Do you know where they're based out of? I wanted to try and oh, they're based out of the city. I think probably near the mill district. Okay. That gets me closer than anyone else. Yeah. Here's your croissant. Yep. <laughs> and you are a craftsman of genius. <laughs> I just work for one. Yeah, uh, well. Whatever. How much is whatever? This is like a, a couple copper. Here, here, here's a goal. Keep the change. You're doing here's great. You're, <laughs> you're pleasant to... <laughs> and head out and try and find my way. Probably much easier to ask around. Hey, where's the mill district? Doesn't feel as yeah, sus. Yeah, the, uh, and yeah they, they direct you towards it. Yep. Uh, and head that way now. <laughs> man, man who's drinking a laxative eating buttery croissants. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten past that. Buttery chocolatey croissants. I made my roll. Who says there's only one roll? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well stop and get you some coffee too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, try and find my way there. Mm-hmm. Do I need to roll? Do I? No, uh, he gave you directions. It's yep. not that big of a district. Okay. It's all small, really easy to walk to. Yeah. How nice. I go to the district. It'll take you a day and a half to get there. <laughs> fact that a mill district is like four buildings and not, you know, 20 square miles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, you go there and there is a uh, couple like mills with donkeys walking in circles as mm-hmm. they're collecting uh, flour and there is a uh, Yuma distribution sign. Yeah. I'm one of the buildings. Uh, Will call is around back. Mm-hmm. Which first, is what it's called when you ask for something that you're going to come and pick up at a distribution center. It's called will call. Yeah. Or when you get like tickets at an event, yeah. it's uh, same with the term. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Um, but I'm first kind of keeping an eye out, trying to see: do I spot one of the the either the guy or one of the other people that were kind of mm-hmm, around? Uh, you see see people walking into and out of the building, but you don't. Uh, well, go ahead and give me a perception check. Did and I'm guessing I did not happen to. Catch his name? Uh, no, yeah. uh, wasn't really given his name. Out. Yeah, no. Neither were you, for that matter. Nope. All right. It's a perception check. You're looking uh, yeah. for him. Yeah. That's not. Uh, that's not helpful. Mm. It being on the ground and all. Did it roll out of tipsy range? No, it's in tipsy range. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's a perception. Uh. Twenty-one. Uh, there is a figure in a window that you're seeing up where, like, offices might be, who just kind of moves back as you look. You didn't quite catch who it is, but it was a. I think figure. they caught me. Uh, they were looking out the window, but yeah, they're you're pretty sure they caught you seeing them when they moved back. Hmm. I first wait a few moments. I'm hoping they'll <laughs> see if they send someone for me. 
So as, as you stand there, some uh, it, there's a. What's your passive perception? Uh, passive would be twelve. So as you stand there, there's a uh, one of the kids who's working there <laughs> kind of winds up walking <laughs> by you and tries to pick your pocket, and you do catch him trying to do it. You, uh, you want to deliver a message as I then take whatever, another four gold. Be able to talk, uh, let the person, uh, upstairs know I'd like to be of help. Um, okay, mister. And and that's give him four right. gold and maybe it's just gone. So, uh, the urchin does, like, run back into the building with his pet rat, because they, they all have one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Free. Yeah, once your parents die, they give you a pet rat. <laughs> to fill a Compensation. Hole. To fill you a hole in your life. <laughs> yeah. It's starting gear. Can't avoid it. <laughs> Man, you gotta breed, breed rats if you're gonna kill parents. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a big rat conspiracy. It's just more efficient that way. Big rat conspiracy. Disney? You don't say that out loud. <laughs> you can't use the D word. And he's a mouse, so. <laughs> obviously, mouse. obviously, Very different. talking about Radigan. Yeah? Obviously. Great mouse detective. The best. Okay, so uh, after a while, he comes back and goes, ah, Come with me, man. I follow. Does that mean Stuart Little has his own mouse? Stuart Little was never a mouse. Is he magic? No, Stuart Little was the boy who kept screaming that the world was following. Never was a mouse, was Chicken a mousey mouse. looking boy. Okay, who's the mouse at the orphanage? That's Stuart, Stuart Little. Stuart Little, I think he's thinking of Chicken Little. Chicken Little is the chicken who screams about the sky falling. Stuart Little was, the story was called, the movie was Chicken Little because it was a chicken. I don't well, think he was no, Stuart Little is, is, is a mouse that gets that where their parents go to an orphanage and they look at all these these children and they decide, we'll adopt the mouse. <laughs> it's a talking mouse. Yeah, and Chicken Little's never, name is just Chicken Little. I've never seen the movie Stuart Little. No, I don't think I have. <laughs> yeah, with the little mouse. Anyways, I follow I follow this 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 boy and his yeah, mouse. Maybe that's the one where like in the book it was a real human child and they just went Screw that is a mouse because he was a mousy looking boy. Yeah. Nope, Stuart Little, mouse. Yeah, Stuart Little has always been a mouse. <laughs> chicken Little. Wasn't always a chicken? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe that's where it is. I don't know. I got wires crossed somewhere. Whatever. Not relevant. <laughs> hey, the Mandela, it's a real... effect. the Mandela effect is real. Listen, it's a fake elephant. Let's get it. We're all in alternate dimensions. Okay, so you get led up to uh, an office. With a familiar man sitting behind the desk. All right. Um, Clipboard man, how can I help you? No, no. How can I help you? Can I call you Clippy? Uh, you can call me Wolfgang if you'd like. Okay. Well, what do you have to offer, Clippy? Um. Well, to start, I stared at the information of where. All the stuff was staring, and the map that you had a shorter time looking at. Let me try and copy that down. I do have an array of arcane uh, skills. And if... what do you think that you're going to help me do with these? Oh, I think you're going to shake things up. And I don't really care how. I'm going to need you to say it out loud. Um, probably some sort of assassination. Is it? Is it the king? Is it the the princess? So you're just in for killing whomever. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll cause a lot of chaos. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, 
uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check on your... Can't we just kill folk? <laughs> <laughs> when life gets you regents, uh, regicide, that's, apparently. that's like a psychotic thing, but I'll let you... 19! <laughs> he goes, I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> You're just crazy enough to make it work. <laughs> you know what's just crazy enough to work? Okay. <laughs> Find criminal element, immediately give them what they want. Pass <laughs> test. <laughs> Sorry, it seemed easier than convincing a king someone's after you. <laughs> Plus, you have lightning bolt and lightning bolt. Yeah. And, I may be mistaken, lightning bolt? Um... Yeah, three lightning bolts, I do. <laughs> Just a king. <laughs> next turn. <laughs> next turn. <laughs> the, the bad king odd. We want him removed. And his uh, beloved daughter. I, I'd like her in his place. So, so we wait until is, after the ceremony. After the ceremony, we're going to try and murder them if you're in. For him. Yes, him. Not... Not, not her. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Is he in love with her? I don't care. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I don't ask. Mm. <laughs> hey, look, man, what you do with now the young princess the, is up to you. Now ask him the right questions, then. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the right question is, can I help you with this? Can I help you with the murders? <laughs> That was that. That was the question. I'm. I've. I've now found the plot hook, and now I just need to carry on with it. Um. I. I will definitely like try and redraw and list out things. Um. um I will also point out. Um. Just sort of that you know, at least in my observation, the uh, the guard. Janice, who was following me, seems like she's probably pretty new and a bit adept, does not feel very confident with the work that she's doing if we're needing a, a weak leak on that end. Um, she's the one whose helmet doesn't quite fit. Ah, yes. Yes, uh, she does do good work for us. <laughs> she was so hard to read. You know what? That is a lot better result to have gotten than... Yes, she seems to have understand, understood perfectly. <laughs> Alright. Uh, otherwise, kind of explain a bit of... Yes, I have you know, the ability to shoot forth the lightning bolts. Um, I also can make... Uh, <laughs> I alternatively could make uh, a couple of people invisible for up to an hour if I stay out of a scrap, if you're just needing to... What else can you do after that? Would you be able to give anyone anything else, or is that like, you're tapped? Um, that would sort of hold my mind. Other than that, it would just be things like the... Uh, bolts of lightning, the um, infliction of a necromantic blight. Um, the ability okay. to see in the dark. I mean, let's see. Mm. Uh, we will take you up on the uh, two invisible people for an hour. Yes. And uh, sure hold on, let me double check. I don't suppose you have anything poisoning or quiet that you could slip into the king's uh, thing in case other things fell apart. Uh, We're really not trying to dismantle everyone. We want a secession with rebels on the run. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I've only prepared Earthquake today. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But, but why do you say that every day? Every day is a good day for an earthquake. I just cast it wherever I am. At least once a day. <laughs> why, I hate neighbors. 
<laughs> no, no, just I hate. <laughs> I hate. I mean, you're what, a, a thousand miles of circuitry? <gasps> no. Each nano no, Nothing quite so... No, that dude honeycombed in the entire subtle. planet. Uh, at least not unless he's incredibly weak. Um, which wouldn't be a deadly option, but a sleep option. Um, you know what would be great if you were still with him? Mind spike. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> Just poof the cane twice. That's true, I can do it from being through walls and everything. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of ways you could help if you would have came. Mister, <laughs> had the option to come with me. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I, if I was there, man, this would be so much easier. Ryan didn't come because he I didn't have a concept I, for I, what it was. That was one of the main features right. of taking Psychic Lance was the ability Nick, to shoot people through walls. Nick and Beth didn't, didn't come because they died. You said, no, <laughs> do it on your own, bud. I'm out. But to be fair, totally within Mary's character. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not saying it wasn't. <laughs> this seemed like know. a lot of hard work. Yeah, this was a lot of hard work. <laughs> I didn't even get a tower. I only got a beer. You already have a tower. Uh, where's the second tower, huh? <laughs> if I succeed, maybe I get one. I'm <laughs> trying to get a ground right spell here. <laughs> then why didn't you take Psychic Lance? That's probably a wizard spell. Mine bullets always work. Um, yeah, because I don't have any poisons or things. Um, I do... Because technically... Fourth. I do have a fourth level spell. Uh, if, it's like if I don't want to save the um, necromantic energy, I can actually do yeah. three people invisible. Four. Yeah. You're a wizard. Don't forget arcane recovery. Or do you not get that at this level? No, yet? no, he's got it. You yeah. get that early. Yeah, I think it's a, that's a second level feature. Or, uh, yeah. I was like, don't forget your arcane recovery. You are a wizard. But I can't recover a fourth level spell slot with that. No. That no. is true. Yeah, it is half your level. Okay, so. <laughs> what do you do? Are you going to give him three or two invisible spells? Uh, I will let him have three. I, I, have, I have no senses that I'm holding things back from him. He, we're now the gang. He's who I have to help here. I've, I've established who I need to help. Okay. Uh, we found a new gang. As uh, he goes, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, Stay here. We don't want you getting lost in the city. It's a big place, after all. Mm -hmm. We uh, we have a place where you can sleep, and there is a room. Yeah. It's not like super fancy, but you slept in worse. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully, There's a bathroom. You know, yeah, don't, yeah. sorry about that. Uh. <laughs> just you commit a war crime in there, like just absolute. Like you're gonna kill a king tomorrow. This might have been worse. <laughs> This might have been worse. Thank you. So, you uh, go to sleep? Do anything? I yeah, I I go to sleep. Mm. All right. Don't forget to roll your four tens, but you are oh, yeah. full rest. <laughs> also, complete trust in me, gang, not to stab you in the sleep. <laughs> Just like right to sleep, <laughs> like a baby. I'm so yeah, tired. No. He's nope. just a sleepy guy. What are they gonna do? Stab me? And at this point, I'm just kind of like, I don't believe that they're real. And I don't believe that they win. What? You don't think that Duck Kingdom is a reasonable place? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you no think more, my Duck Kingdom is real? No more absurd than Horse Kingdom. <laughs> yes, it is. Horse yes, Kingdom it is. is based off a real thing. Yeah, Duck Kingdom yeah there are plenty like, of Horse Kingdoms. Duck Kingdom is also clearly rubber duckies, and that's... that's yeah. really I true. drove past, like, six Jeeps. <laughs> With the freaking the the with the freaking ducks everywhere, it's and a deep like, thing. Screw it, Ducky Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's a deep thing. <laughs> uh, and, and, and talking about the uh, the um of whatever Ducktales, and he's like, "How ridiculous it is, is it that the uh, place is called Duckburg? That would be like if we had a city called Manchester." <laughs> 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 well, who would who, who would do such a weird thing? <laughs> I mean, there's a place called Pooh Creek and also Pee Pee. Oh gosh. There's a trail between them. You can go from Pooh Creek to Pee Pee or Pee Pee to Pooh Creek. Yeah. Yeah, we've got I'll choose not to, though. Ridiculous yeah. city names. 
feels that sometimes when they're, they're, they're named things like that, it's just like, I have my area. I don't like people. I don't want people to want to live here with me. Stay away. It's, it's, there, it's, there's only been one culture that did that really well. <laughs> It's Greenland a, and Iceland. <laughs> it's, it's world building. I need to make sure every place has a unique name. Name the next six cities Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hell, Michigan. Just okay, so this. as you uh, wake up the next morning, are you doing anything? Um, I think my normal preparation is sufficient. That's what I prepared them with. Alright, okay. as uh, you... Uh, turn the three invisible, you see uh, uh, two of them walk in to be turned and then the third one walks in is in fact Janice and she's wearing like cat suit with leather over it and blades all over her and she walks in with grace and full eye contact. They have their own Molly. <laughs> she walks in and goes <laughs> I guess I have to be less awesome. So go ahead. Remove the visual e evidence of my incredible presence. I'm gonna back. Then remove it. And uh, fourth level slot. <laughs> yeah, they uh, move out. <laughs> Are you going to assist them in any way besides uh, magic? Are you just going to like? There's you, this is leaving it to chance. Um, like there's an, yeah. a chance that you could be done at this point. <laughs> um, I will. I mean, essentially, I gather it's a hustle, bustle kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, a, I, a, my main thing is assassination attempt. So yeah, there's some. Well, no, the 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 and event. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But my my primary goal is not to have to make a concentration check. Um, but if I, um. Can get in and you know obviously watch for whatever's going on you know watch the event. If I can try and get within a hundred feet, you know I, I will attend. Okay, so you're going to go to the gate and try to attend. Yeah, I'm seeing it, or if it's just an open for the public to. All right, yeah, whatever. So as you uh, go up to a gate, there's a very familiar looking man standing at the gate with a clipboard, checking passes, checking like invitations. Mm -hmm. So uh, he hasn't he hasn't clocked you yet. Do you walk up to him? Like it is the steward. He knows you. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of sight enough where he's not gonna talk to me. While I think from it, and I I probably around a thing where I'm seeing people heading towards it. Yeah. How like totally out of? They're in their. They are the finest of fancy dresses. There's many a lad wearing women's clothing. Young Lots lad and fancy, fancy dress. dress. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good old lad, young. Um, if you had your full wardrobe, I know. You, I'm you like, would be so ready for this. I do not. Thurston Howell the Third has tried to outfit you appropriately, and you keep wearing work clothes. He'd be so so distressed. I'm just saying, you have everything you need for this fancy dress party. He'd be back home. You spent so much money. Why aren't you wearing it? Does there seem to be a spot? Because I, I got I gathered from people I was trying to do like this is an event whatever. Is there a public? Uh, there's criers who are like announcing things. Is what you've gathered? Is right. it like they're going to have people announce it to the public? But this isn't like the public showing. That's going to happen in a few days. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I will try and... First I'm going to say, is there, with with this gr grand thing going in, I try and figure out, you know, um, is there like a pause where he's just kind of waiting for people to... You know, where, where me going up and asking the steward a question. Uh, yeah, there's like walls that you could take advantage of yeah. if you wanted to talk to him without uh, interrupting his job. Yeah. Um, yeah, so without interrupting him, I, I take a chance to kind of go up to him really with the... just the kind of thing of, hey... Obviously, lowly workmen, but with all the excitement, where would be the best place for, for someone like me to go to just get to enjoy bits of things as the, the, the celebration happens? Oh, uh, there's going to be a cry uh, over the gate where he's going to cry out uh, when it's happened, but I mean, you already pretty much know what's going to happen, so. Yeah. 
exciting for me. So King, just kind of waiting around the gate, kind of. Yeah, okay. King Odd is going to uh, invest his uh, his daughter Magpie with uh, as his heir. Mm -hmm. so. um, but yeah, otherwise, so outside the gates it is. Do I? Mm, no, none of that would be on on the map. Yeah, that's what there, it is. There are like vending carts further down, mm -hmm. like not right up against the gates, but like further down. There's like vendors. You see uh, someone with a uh, sign from the uh, the Penny College out there, like, "Hey, man." We got hot cocoa. You want some? Like, people walk up and, no. he's like, he, he, he has the attitude of every time someone asks him for something, he's kind of surprised that he has everything he needs right here to make it. Like, just it has that kind of attitude of where he, yeah. he is, it's, he's a little confused that he's existing as a person, mm. is kind of the energy he's giving. But there is people out there serving drinks and stuff. Yeah, uh, not necessarily getting anything, but just sort of enjoying with the crowd as as, as that seems like a thing gathered for this kind of thing. Yeah, just I'm staying in. close. Do you ever feel like we're in a simulation? <laughs> we're in a simulation, man. It's like shut up and give the man his hot chocolate. Oh right. <laughs> no, he was saying that. He was trying to say that to me. It wasn't me saying that. <laughs> but yeah, um. Because this would be day two of day three total possible, correct? Yes, this is the second day of three total possible days. Yeah. So at this point, I'm sticking around. Mm -hmm. See what news I can get. Okay. Um, uh, so nothing else? Okay, so you're just going to pass the time? At this point, I am passing the time, and I'm letting them see if they can just succeed for me. Because then I still have another shot at it. Okay. With the third day. Meanwhile, outside the dungeon, there's a couple of us, like, two syllables into our conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just stuck around. You could have been playing today. Okay. So, thanks to the magic of them not being able to be seen, uh, throughout the night, you hear cries, like, it's not super long into it. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe two or three hours. You know that your spell's gone by now, but... Yes. So, but they should have gotten where they needed. Yeah, yeah they so knew how long it was like, lasting. They're enjoying the feast. The King Odd is enjoying all of the festivities and the clowns and the jugglers. King Odd has complimented the bard such and such for their uh, outstanding performance. <laughs> uh, and then you hear, King Odd has crowned the Princess Magpie as his heir. And then about an Maybe 15, 20 minutes after that. Ill news, friends! King Odd has been killed in the most dastardly attack! Princess Magpie has been swept away by her loyal ladies in waiting. This isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, as the gates uh, close, you see the sign up there change from a little yellow ducky to, like, a white ducky with black wing. Also known as a magpie duck. Hmm. King Ard, who is a bad king. Mal is Latin for bad. Malard. Yes, explain explain your, 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 your intricate details, or no one will ever know about them. No one will ever know that I made them because you didn't go in and see them. They are, in fact, the bird people. Mm. But they're ducks. <laughs> <laughs> that is indeed far funnier that way. <laughs> Aracocra. <laughs> duck Aracocra. Yeah, they're, they're duck Aracocra. It, it, Does the world not shift around me? Uh, as you're sitting there, uh, uh, the world does begin to shift around okay. you. And you're standing on the field and go, and there's like tables out before you with like a lot of stuff on them. And the man stands there with his great sword on the ground and his big mustache and his full armor. Well done. I thought for sure you'd back out of it after your friends quit or indoor died. Now, come claim your reward. And on the table, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different items. 
These are all items of magical value or importance. Uh, do you want me to just like list off and and because he will tell you what they are. Do you want okay. me to describe? Sure. So there's a ring of vitalic kinesis. There's a wand of the moor mage. There's a manual of flesh golems. There's a dragon uh, scale mail gold. There's an arrow of slaying, an amulet of health, a cloak of displacement, and iron bands of binding. You can have one. Hey, come on. You know you want that flesh golem, right? Uh, I mean... Is it iron bands? Yeah, iron bands, iron of, bands of binding. So, it, it not matters. As good, not as good as 3.5. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the, third, 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 yeah, yeah the third edition one was way better. Yeah, okay. so it, it's all rare or very rare magical items. Yeah. It, it is it is inflated by its history. It is not worth that. Given what we have to often do of capture a person, though, is it still? It, it's it's okay. It's okay. The DC is a little low for being an item, and it's pretty. It's not super hard to break. But yeah, if you if you're actively trying to catch people regularly, it's not bad. He will answer questions what you have about those if you want to know what any of those items actually do. I'll let you. You can yeah. you can make a fully informed decision if you would like. Because then uh, making golems also sounds funny. I don't feel like making golems is as... Because that manual, makes you make a golem. A manual flesh golem uh, do, 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 uh, contains the information necessary to make flesh golems. To decipher the manual, uh, you must yeah, be a spellcaster with two yeah. fifth level spell slots. Uh, you can't use the manual. You take 66 psychic damage. Mm -hmm. You spend 60 days making the golems. Yeah. Uh, eight hours each day. And 50,000 golden supplies. Once you finish the golem, it does catch on fire and turn into ashes. Yeah, it's one golem, yeah. huge amount of time, yeah, and I'd have to wait to do it. Yeah, and a lot of money. Thing was it has yeah. a, it's a DC 20 strength check, and it destroys them if they make it. Yeah. And it's like, that's the rough part. Is like you d They don't just fall off. It's destroyed. Or yeah, the other so. items. Yeah. Old dragon and skin. And 20 is possible just by luck. Iron bands of bone. Flesh the band. item is destroyed. Uh, yeah, that's band band. the rough part about iron bands. Ring of telekinesis. Ring of telekinesis. Mm, that's is, a good one. While wearing this ring, you can cast cal the spell telekinesis at will. You can only target objects oh, that yeah, aren't being worn people? or that's what carried. You want. Only, only, object. uh, only oh. objects that aren't worn or carried. Okay, so not the way that you did things but, with the dragon. Okay. Yeah, but you yeah. can cast it at will. It is a fifth level spell. So you can at will for objects. Yeah. For objects, it's a fifth and level spell, and you can move up to a thousand pounds. That, that would be a brings in the rules. What happens if you drop a thousand pounds on a person? Yeah, they get a dex save. But yeah. it wouldn't be using your spell save. It would be using a dex save, which like the wand of the war mage gives adds plus three to your DC, and uh, all your spells ignore half cover when you're making spell attacks. Uh, no, no, it, it's plus three to spell attack rolls. In addition, you they ignore half cover to your spell attack. attacks. So, but I tend to do saves for yeah. most of it. So but most, yeah, everyone does. I'm thinking telekinesis at will, even just objects, just for getting. Uh, that's pretty good for I mean, B and E, right? I mean, there's stuff sure. like that's good for you. The dragon scale mail is a scale mail with gold dragon. So there's stuff. Yep. The amulet of health sets your con at nineteen. Arrow of Slaying deals a crap ton of damage. Uh, Arrow of Slaying is one time. Yeah, it's uh, DC uh, 16 con save or take uh, 6, 6 d 10 piercing damage. Yeah, and another that's another head of this kind of inflated. Uh, but it kind of has to be. You wouldn't want those things hanging around in the market. Yeah, the am Amulet of Health is uh, sets con to 19. Uh... Cloak of Displacement is uh, blur. And I'm guessing the Ring of blur. Ring of Telekinesis is constant uh, attunement. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Ring of It's attunement. Yes. I think uh, everything is attunement, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Arrow of Slaying isn't. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think the arrow <laughs> would be. Arrow of Slaying isn't. Uh, the manual's probably not? The manual's not attunement, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, the the uh, bands of binding aren't attunement. Hmm. The iron bands of binding aren't attunement, but everything is attunement. Everything else, yeah. Yeah, out of pure utility, I'd say telekinesis ring is best option. Yeah, yeah cause yeah, ring, ring of telekinesis, dragon gold scale mail, iron bands, flesh gold manual, wand of the war mage, amulet of health, arrow sling, and cloak of displacement. Uh, wand of the war mage plus three. Right. 
Um, Koga Displacement ain't no joke. I mean, it's a defensive item. But it, yeah, but it's my personal favorite defensive item. Point in fact, in the God campaign, I am using one. <laughs> my God is using <coughs> one. Mm. My personal favorite is still the... Uh, I don't know if it would be defensive or utility. I will go with Ring of Telekinesis. Okay. It's Cloak of Elven Kind. So yeah, uh, he goes, uh, Jolly good. Here's your Ring of Telekinesis. Now, off you go, lad. And uh, the world goes, <laughs> and goes in. And as the ring closes in around you, it comes and like uh, forms another ring on your finger. Do you have uh, attunement slots after those two? Like, how many attunement slots? Do you uh, have right now, I'm I'm not uh, tuned to the Ring of Telekinesis because okay, uh, I have to change things. How many attunement slots do you have, and what are you attuned to? If you have four. okay, hold on, yeah, because I should be full. I, hold on, where is it sure listed? Flame tongue. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm full. I just have to flame find where I've listed. Whatever uh, Eric or gave him. Flame, flame, flame tongue, the... whatever item bracelet. Okay, here we go. Attuned the um. The bag, the coal bag. Um, the cold bag. The coal bag. It's a coal, I guess, colored bag. Um, it's what the stuff was in. It's the thing that's the. Um, oh, oh, your bracelet. Yeah, the yes. thing Eric gave you. Yeah. <laughs> the um. Yeah, the dagger, the bracelet of item concealment. There you go, and the undead control orb. Okay. So as the ring of telekinesis uh, forms around your finger, there's another ring that is a white marble, like the outside of that castle, is on your other finger, and there's like a potential in it. Like you feel it trying to do something, but you can't take it off. It just feels like it's blocked from what it's trying to do. Like, almost as if there's not a free attunement slot. But as you uh, pop out of it, uh, there's Jojo, Mary, and Maribel are all just standing there starting to talk as Jojo started to run off as you've popped out. Good. G good news. We, we didn't die. Me either. No, you... You were the coward. It was fine to let them die. Yes. Smack that, you in that, the shoulder. That, that is not I'm an still that is running. I am oblivious to him popping up. I'm like, we have to tell Mother June. What are you telling Mother June? Wolfgang stuck. Oh wait, hold on. What? As you turn around, <laughs> like the, the tower in the circle, it is gone. Like it's an uh, empty lot now. Uh, and he's sitting there with this beautiful white ring on his finger. As it was oblivious, you. Hey. Uh, you left me to get through that alone. I, I was trying to, to save her. I died. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to die. It's fine. You got better. I'm really glad you didn't die. No. Yeah, so, so, okay, I have a question. Am I tired? Uh, no. The spell Has... slot is spent. Like the one you spent for invisibility, that's yeah. still spent. But other than that, you're. Uh, do I still have the most recent day's importance? Yes. Um, and you. And my money, I'm guessing, is spent. It's spent. On, do you? And if you didn't spend the ducky coins, you I did. still have ducky coins. No, I spent those. I spent more than five gold after there. I gave. I gave a gold for money for for, for the bread, and I gave four gold for uh, telling the kid to go. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Just, just glad I don't have to find out if the after effects of that. Did mm. you? Do did I still have the vial, the fairy vial? Uh, yeah. You have an empty fairy vial. Did you eat the croissant, or did you put it away? I did not put it away. I probably ate some of it and tossed the rest of it. Okay. There's a croissant on the ground that's like half eaten and huge and like chocolate. That, oh, that looks clearly really wasted. yummy. Um, I'm gonna grab it and start munching on it. Um, it's, um, it's that, like, that's 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 it's, ground food. That's it's fine. fine. It's ground it's, sugar. Uh, she extra does a lot because it's uh, stale. That is okay. It's still chocolatey. <laughs> Crunchy chocolate's good. 
No, well, Gabe just ate the chocolate parts. <laughs> That's all. No. Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat them. That's okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, Croissants so. are still good, too. Good job, Taylor Swift. <laughs> just, <laughs> just Taylor Swift eating croissants just off the ground. Eating the ground croissants. <laughs> not elegant, <laughs> not powerful, ground croissants munching Taylor Swift. <laughs> just throw the jackets on them. Yes. Just, just a guy down the road, you hear click, click, mm. he's holding a mirror, just taking pictures of you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... Taylor, 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 over here, Taylor, 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 I know I'm not dead, but I feel like I need to go go sleep that off. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm a little tired. Mm. I'm so sorry. Well, see you all back at home. <laughs> Fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have to walk? Fly back to the... <sighs> it's like, I believe we gave you, you a bird. You don't have to walk. Use your wings. <laughs> <laughs> As your party scatters, leaving you there covered in old croissant uh, crumbs. Flips off the air in their directions. Um, cool. Uh, it's like you have a broom. <laughs> can do I? Yes, we we can do you at one. She at one. did. Was one of the brooms lost during the ordeal? No. Mm. You I said it was with me when I got out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But okay. you have it. Yeah, that's my broom. There were four brooms when okay. you if started. You, if, if you, in that ordeal from her dying, ended up with double broom, you gave her back her broom? I don't think she ever used her broom in there. But I've never used a broom except for maybe once, but I'm I don't feel like I have I'm relatively sure it's attached to your bag. Gosh darn it. Check, check your stuff. I don't keep track of my stuff. I'm I'm a cute girl. Is that how purses work? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Half I don't know the time I'm thing. fishing out what she needs from it. Exactly. You get a man to do that stuff I've, for you. I'm, I'm the one that's now changed how she stores stuff in there to be more efficient. Thank I mean, God you're a man the finally one. told her how to do use her purse properly. <laughs> you're the one that made me get a backpack. I didn't make you get a backpack. That's I just said get a new purse. If I'm going to have to stand outside the bathroom and hold this, I don't want to be holding one that looks all ratty. Let's get a new nerdy one. I mean, that's a really... That's that's a reasonable argument for you getting something new. I'm going to make you get a pretty purse that's nerdy so I feel more comfortable. Um, honestly, I don't even mind. Um, I, I don't have it written down. Okay. I have been acting as if I don't have a broom. Okay, okay then we have a broom at home. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I ran out here. I did not fly out here. I walked out here, came back home to get them, and then we walked out to meet them. I'm, I'm John Jones' broom. Just go with JoJo. I was like, JoJo, why aren't you using your room? What room? The one we left in your room. I have a room. <laughs> like, oh my God. You come back, the dog's chewing on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the most chaotic person. I don't keep track of my stuff. Okay. So. You guys are all heading back. Mother June, you've been just enjoying, like, a quiet, uh, you know, a quiet evening. Uh, when all of a sudden the door burst open. Yeah, carefully there's Jojo over there breathing heavily. <laughs> Preparing stuff for tomorrow's cookies. Jojo, did you go back to the mansion or to the church? You were looking for Mother June. I yeah. was, but that was because we needed to get her for the towers. Okay. Now, now everyone I think I have goes to, to bed go, go to my house. Yeah, check on my puppy dog. Okay, so um, everyone goes home, goes to bed, wakes up. There's a 9 a.m. morning bubbles. meeting. Bubbles. I'm checking on bubbles. Yeah, the boy dog and bubbles. Uh, yeah, bubbles. Uh, also, in session 68, Jojo takes one of the spare brooms. Yeah, he's got it in his notes. Oh. So as you get back there, there's a broom in your room. Yeah, you, you've had it for nine sessions. You just put it somewhere. <laughs> I will write down broom. Room, As I room. discover it in my room, I'm like, oh, that's what they're talking about. <laughs> that's what they all use I to fly. I thought that was for cleaning. <laughs> I just <guess laughs> it, it, it has been keeping the room clean with it. <laughs> <laughs> sweeping the room with a magic item. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it was really tough. Someone to made the decision to make it a broom. <laughs> we successfully made it to Sunday morning. Finally. So yeah, Sunday morning meeting. Um. Okay. So, uh, before that, actually, sorry. I get back and I. Um. What do I have? Hey, in we the... we defeated two towers. I'm pretty proud of us. Well, Aragorn's pretty upset. I unattune. Through and find a whole dead ass arm. I unattune. It's true. From the dagger. Okay. Does the white marble ring attune to me? What? Uh. Are you trying to attune to something else? Uh, not not at this point. No, I am I'm removing the attunement because you, you said it felt like the white marble ring was trying to attune to me. Uh, yes, once you uh, unattune the dagger, the white uh, marble ring attunes. As I understand it, once you attune to something, you understand how it works? Yes. Okay. It's part of the process. Unless it's cursed and it's lying to you. Okay. Uh, so, Is it cursed and lying to him? Uh, Maybe if so, I get to near the lie. <laughs> difficult Same. terrain does not cause you extra movement. Uh, magic can neither, cannot reduce your speed nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. It is acting as a ring of free action. Okay. Wow, it's it's the the uh, extra movement. Delicious. Okay, so difficult terrain does not uh, cause extra movement. What was the other thing? Uh, magic can neither reduce your speed nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. Is stunning strike my powers? No. Uh, from like monk? Stunning. From like monk? You're not paralyzed. Oh yeah, it's stunning not paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like for monk? No, it's not magic. Now they got and rid of. said a ring of free movement. It acts action. as a ring of free action. Yeah, they got. If they, you want to look it up. They got rid of S U E X qualifications. So now if it doesn't say it's magic, it's not. Magic. Was um was the building it. itself, um. White marble. Uh, the, the building that disappeared behind me. Yes. I'll spin the ring. Kind of disappointed. <sighs> I've come back to you at the turning of the cards. <laughs> I'm Wolfgang. What? Okay. Other than that, yes, we can go into moving. morning meeting. Okay, morning meeting. Morning meeting. Quickly describe our part until we disappeared of the thing, of the fights. Okay. And, and then we died, and I think I'm going to have to sit down and think about that for today. <laughs> That's my day. You're thinking about how you died? Yeah, I've come... Maribel's come close to death before, but she died. If nothing else happened, she would have died. She's going to spend time meditating and thinking about, you know... Her own mortality for at least a day. I found fictional people in a fictional city and I overthrew a king with them. If, if you're distressed, would you? could I interest you in some post-life insurance? Wait, but, like, we didn't die, though. You, it's never too late to start making plans for your afterlife. You know he's right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about unending conflict? A war without end. Not good. Honestly, uh, if I probably, die, I can't I just go to Renette. <laughs> then try hers. Uh, <laughs> also, no. Maybe it's like, what's Drizzt's god? That nature elf god? There's like six of them. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> nature elf god. <laughs> could Which job one? Narrowing it down. Uh, the not male dick one? <laughs> I think, I think he he he, he yeah, worships yeah. Elastra, doesn't he? Yeah, he wore, he's Elastra. I thought oh. it was Alona. Elastra, like whichever Alan. one was the uh, the the uh, unicorn. Oh yeah, a loon. Yeah, I think that was a loon. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I don't know, I forgot. Yeah. The only one I really know is Elastra, and that's thanks to Austin. I thought it was the the, the bow lady. <laughs> also, doesn't they wrote down? <laughs> You know the one with the bows. Coral on the He Larian? likes likes the likes nature. Is a bow also an elf? Not a dark elf. You're like you've removed one. <laughs> you've removed one from the list. Uh, okay. With four qualifiers, you've removed one. Uh, also, <laughs> it isn't uh, whatever the dick. 
I mean, maybe or not also a dude or unless it's a chick. I mean, who knows? <laughs> it's a god. I'm sure that they can change it willy nilly. Regardless, yeah, Carl, don't make pretty, any quick decisions. Pretty explicitly ambiguous, mm. though. Mm-hmm. So I don't. Uh, but I do hope that that was the second. Uh, do we think this will allow us, allow us to have power within this particular district after we remove this uh, game is, player? I is Steve McQueen suspect here? as much. Uh, at least one of the linchpins in the district, I imagine. Who knows if there's more? Mm. Uh, yeah, that's the question for Steve. What's that? Well, I was given the straight up the tower. The question becomes do I own the plot of land mm. in the district? Or does the plot of land go somewhere else? Or do I just own the tower? How do they handle property rights over there? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I got this magical tower that was on this land. Do I now own that land via the transitive property? Tower was here. I have tower. Do I own there? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, how do they tie it up? If you put tower on land, you can change it. Yeah, is it, is, if I, if yeah I maybe no down, one would notice. If I stack it down, what I would know. That be, but would that be legal? I now own this land. My tower's here. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Why do we care? For paperwork and tax reasons. Um, Obviously. Mm. Also, so you don't want someone just coming along and bulldozing your tower. Yeah, I'm a good person. I pay my taxes. We pay taxes. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. You don't. You don't mess all, with the we're, scale. We're all good people here. We pay our taxes. I. I. I that's that's do, the bar. Do Do I pay taxes? Yes. We take it out before your. You get your just, just, oh. so, just so you are aware of, in this setting, there's a uh, um, group called the Brothers of the Scale. And uh, they're essentially the bigger gang that you don't mess with. Because they're backed by the king. Because they're the taxmen. Yeah, the with religious overtones. Yes, the IRS with religious overtones. Because I thought, you know what the IRS needs? Religious, religious overtones. overtones. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, I, I did not. I did not know they were taxable. Yeah, so they get their cut. Same as any. Anybody else has to Yeah, them. until you're willing to throw over the highest you know, seed of kingdom, the king, you always pay your taxes because he has more people, yeah. always. Oh, now that makes sense. Anything uh, yeah, you can murder right and do other stuff as long as you pay your Drex's taxes. God was malignant. Although, I will also then ah, just point yeah. out, I am now yeah, sort of the one here who has managed to have a king killed. Did you do it through walls with mine bullets? No, I, I sent people in and uh, made them I, invisible. I would have done it through walls, mind bolts. You know what mm. you would have done? You would have ran away yep. like a little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. Mm. Uh, I, mean, I know that's supposed to be an insult, but I can't help but notice that at this table I'm alive and some of the other people didn't survive. Yes, <laughs> but I did go on. To be fair, I didn't die. I mean, I died in there, but I didn't uh, actually so, die. Speaking, speaking of mine bullets <laughs> through walls, we might well have to leave that open as a uh, option for dealing with uh, the stuff over in the suburban district, because at least mm. we know their names, right? I mean, I, I mean, theoretically, could you cast that twice, go hide, take a long rest, come back and try, cast it twice again, and I just mean, keep doing that to old person? Assuming I short rest. Yes, yeah, assume, yeah, short yeah. rest. Uh, obviously, yes. How many short rests can you take in a day? As many mm. as you want. They don't add up to long rests, but you can just keep taking them. Probably at least 23, maybe. <laughs> well, I, yes, assuming well, assuming, assuming I could, you could eventually overpower her and the other druids yeah, healing assuming, magic in that time. <laughs> yeah, assuming say, I could find a way to safely do that, yeah. That seems kind of risky, though. Oh, what's the range of that? I mean, it's, it's good range. So it's like 300 feet. I'm in a different house in a different no. building in the sewers? I don't think it's that long. And, and, and if push comes to shove, we could just sh- shove yeah, 50 guys into a yeah, uh, situation. And it could also be the kind of thing of, if that could be, I mean, he likes to be cowardly. He could initiate with a couple of those and then go run away while people come into already injured individuals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, I like that plan. Mm-hmm. But it's an option. Uh, today I'm going to be going into the suburbs and see whether or not uh, we've got any potential 
more peaceful routes of resolving the stuff with uh, both the uh, Queen Bee that we became aware of and the HOA situation. Mm -hmm. See if we can get her replacement. Uh, I'll need Hammerstein to Does come with me since I'm going to need extra eyes on keeping out for somebody that we might want to scout for the position. But uh, I'm going to be going in there with uh, my congregation doing my thing. And Can I come? Well, sure. Going in there, doing my thing, making money for the poor, and trying to make friends, and figuring out what we can do to take this uh, place over, now that I've got a little more free time. I think, um, and we're not trying to kill him, right? Uh, mm. That is a decision that Not I haven't yet. made yet. Okay, well, I'll be there if you need me to, but otherwise I'll try and be nice. Yeah, Jack's starting uh, if we can training make... the, the, the uh, paladins. Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing on Saturday. So you want Hammerstein? Yeah, I want Hammerstein to come with me because this is going to be a social function. Can, can, we, can we make time to stop by the candy shop? You can go. Uh, I don't know. Take the. I don't know if you've, maybe in the evening, if you're feeling up to it, perhaps we go back and check for that last tower. Uh, yeah, if it, if it's after, because I'll have this. All three, day. Th well, yeah. for most of the day, and then in the evening, I've still got training to do. Hmm. So maybe tomorrow. And it's like, we could do it at night. <laughs> that would be when I'm free. Well, we can do that, or would we rather do just have the rest of us chill for a day while they see what avenues we have? I definitely want to chill for a day. And we <laughs> plan to do it tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds better. Okay. You're allies with me. Just because some people ran off... <laughs> I was going to get you back. You don't need to fear death so much. Don't take it so hard. You okay. went after things with all that you had. Mm -hmm. You weren't chaotically running in and starting things pointlessly. You, you did good. <laughs> you were told to murder someone to win! Jojo just feeling so attacked. Find your enemy and win! And yes, he, the he step one enemy. is find find the enemy, not find the person who's friends with your enemy and waste your time killing them. Well, to Adam. be fair, the hag was only the enemy after we killed the turtle. Mm -hmm. Fair point. I, I didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't know. He wasn't answering my questions. He I, just moves I, I believe he said side of the no. <laughs> Anyways. No, there was a challenge. There was definitely a challenge. I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't challenged. Don't have to feel so down on yourself. Yeah. So like I said, relax. I just want to take a day with Huxley and the birds and chill out. <laughs> so with those in words of encouragement, we're actually going to cut this morning meeting in half. And we will join... Come back and join us again next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Stick around check out other things on the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Come back and join us again. That is how you do that one. Thanks. Bye.